Hey guys, how's it going? So I wanted to show you this reaching targets on the new content pack or not content examples for Unreal Engine 5. You should check it out. It's got all kinds of cool stuff in it. Uh, I'm going to show you this one. So they're using the IK rig and they're using in this case the index 3 R goal uh, to have the finger press the button and they're exposing the position of this goal right here by checking this and if we come over here into the event graph you'll see they're just passing the world location or they're setting the world location as the offset right here in the uh, blueprint the character blueprint and that's for this static mesh right here which is what where he's moving his hand so over here in the animation uh, blueprint all they're doing is they're pr uh, playing a press button sequence or animation sequence and they're getting the IK rig and you can just type an IK rig right here to get that and when uh, they set this to the IK reaching target uh, IK rig then you'll see that those exposed the exposed uh, position and its alpha are both uh, being exposed here and on the event graph you'll see that the offset is being brought in which is just the world location of the target and they're setting that as the position and that's where they're passing it in right here to the IK rig and so the IK rig is getting the current animation as its source and it's changing that location to be interpolated towards uh, that target. Now the alpha is what determines when, when it's on or off and they're using the reach alpha curve which is on the mannequin press button animation it's right here and you'll see I was playing around with uh, uh, with their stuff to to try to get it so if we come over here to the skeleton tree and we find the right index finger 3 it could really be 1, 2, or 3 but I'm just going to use 3 since that's uh, the one they put the goal on and let's come back over here so if you go to window and animation data modifier and let me exit out of this so if I go to animation data modifiers it'll probably pull it out in, into a window like this and then you can just dock it like this by dragging and dropping it and I, I set it to translation on the z-axis that seems to be the curve that more fits this curve and these are called animation modifiers and so I'm right clicking and I'm copying the selected bone name I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to set the translation, set the motion type to translation. It should be that by default. I'm making sure that the axis is Z. It's, it should be in component space by default. And then I'm going to do a math. Uh, oh no, not yet. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to apply this modifier. If, it's, if it already exists, it'll ask you if you want to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this again I'm just going to remove all of these and I'm going to apply this modifier and you'll see that the uh, highest value it goes from 82 to 159 so I'm going to go over here to division and I'm going to type in 159.278 and it doesn't have to be exactly like that and I'm just going to remove it and I'm going to apply it again and you'll see now it's it goes from 0.5 to 1 
And if you want this to be simpler, I'll show you how to do that. You just delete that and set the sample rate to something like 10. And then apply the modifier again. Now you have a simpler modifier. I'm just going to remove these ones that I don't need. And then I'm going to set this value to 0, 0, 0. Looks like I have two of them here. Let me just delete one of these. And then I should be able to press a, yeah, press this button here. And I'm just going to move this down. Or you can just delete these. And you could do it something like that. And then you could add you could add some if you wanted them to be if you wanted it to be a little smoother. And you could even set these to user. You could remove these and you could just set these to user. And now we have something that's similar but it's a little off. do that one. I'm, I think I messed it up. I think I, I'm going to do it like this. And let's see here. At 15. So maybe this one right here we could set this to Set this to oh, we could set it to zero, right? This might be something you have to play around with. something similar this all this is doing is it allows us to ease in and out around the time that the finger is going out is rotating out so around when the finger starts to move it should be turning on that's the main goal is when the when the finger starts to rotate out you want the IK to come on right about right about here you see when the finger starts to come out and you can rotate right around there and then you can turn it on and you want to turn it back off probably actually around the time that the thing that the hand starts to move back right about here probably 
is really when you want to start turning it off. So somewhere around 35. Let's just move this over here to 35. And then I'm going to call this reach alpha 2. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do reach alpha 2. And let's just test that. So it still seems to be working fine. Yeah. Now it seems like I might have the values a little bit off, but I don't know if the hand was going in that far uh, on the other one. I think it was. So let's just go ahead and test that. So I'm going to just set it back to the regular reach alpha and we're going to look and see. Yeah, see, the hand still goes in it at that point. But that's because, uh, and let me just go ahead and pause this for a second. And I actually paused it right on point two. So if we select this, uh, oh, we, yeah, let's select this static mesh, you'll see that gizmo is where it's trying to move that finger to, where that gizmo is. And that's the reason why. Ideally, you would probably want to put a point on it, and you could do that and, and have it reach for that point that's on the surface. It would be something invisible like, uh, so if we came in here, you could use like a scene a scene object, and the scene object is just like an invisible object, and we have snapping on. So let me turn snapping off, and I'll just put it somewhere on the surface. You see, and that will be a, a child of the static mesh. And so if we get the scene component and we get its world location instead, you'll see it, it's going to do some funny stuff whenever the, the hand animation is reaching too far. It, the finger might bend. Let's see. It looked like the finger bent a little bit before, but you'll see it's not going quite as far in. And you could tweak that seam. Yeah, I think it just did it there. And this is basically kind of like an additive animation, so it's adding like this data on top of that other one. It doesn't bend that much. Anyway. So that basically gets the point across. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. That was kind of a, a weird looking one. But, yeah. Anyway. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I did kind of drag this out a little bit. But I wanted to get my point across to you. On how they did this. And it's a very basic, simple, like, uh, solution to what I was trying to do a while back when I first started getting into animation. Uh, and I believe you can do that with Control Rig too. So with Control Rig you can also, uh, you couldn't do this before, but now in Unreal Engine 5 you can actually directly, uh, so I don't know if I have enough uh, time, I don't know if y'all want to wait for it, but I'll go ahead and start loading it up. And if you want to wait, then I'll show you what they do in Lyra. Okay, it's already up. <laughs> I didn't even know it was up. That was fast. So, let's see. I want the animation blueprint of my character. The mannequin. No, it's not the rig. It's should be under animation. Yeah, here's the mannequin base. Let's make that a little smaller. 
So if we go to the anim graph, I do believe somewhere, yeah, right here, control rig. So this is accessing the control rig, and you see right here, control rig class is this one right here, CR mannequin foot plant. So if we press this browse to, you can open it up and see this is a full blown control rig. Well, I say full blown, it's just for the legs, but there are videos starting to leak out now for hand, setting it up for hand. And there is one already out, but it's not in English for full body IK. So if we type in full body IK, this is for uh, full body IK hands and everything. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. So I might explore that some more later. But you can, you see, you couldn't do this before, but now you have uh, you have access to the inputs, and you can say use pin, and now I have that as a I can directly control this from an animation blueprint just by typing in control rig, and you see we have the control rig. You see, so that's another way that you could do it. You could actually do the same thing that we did over here, theoretically. For uh, that uses the IK rigs index uh, goal. You could do. You could set up the same thing for control rig now. Now you couldn't before. I I looked and I tried to find a way to get, or maybe I just didn't know how at the time because things weren't very. There wasn't a whole lot of information on uh, Control Rig the last time I looked into it. Uh, preview uh, 1 wasn't even out at that time. So now Unreal Engine 5 is out, and after having seen it uh, put in, or you actually used in the Lyra system, I now know that you can actually uh, set up stuff for the control rig on here under input so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short or <laughs> I've already went over but yeah if you made it this far congrats uh, if you found this helpful if you liked it uh, make sure to like down below and let me know what you think about the video in the comment section